Welcome to the Visual Operational Manual for the Sunbotics system. We will show you how to assemble the robot within a few minutes. At first, connect the tracks with the connecting rods using screws and a size 24 wrench. Subsequently, install the driving motors. Please be aware that you will need three of the 8 times 15 mm screws. Do not confuse these with the 8 times 25 mm screws, the latter will block the driving unit. Simply attach the motors to the respective sockets at the side of the driving tracks and fasten them. In order to use the 1 meter 45 centimeter brush or the expansion to 2 meters, you only need two driving motors. Pull the splash guards over the cable to protect the motors from moisture. Be sure to remove the splash guards after every cleaning cycle so that the installed membrane can function properly. Insert the E-Box. The E-Box can be upgraded according to your desire. In this case we are using the V4 box, which is connected to the battery. Simply insert the cable into the respective socket. The larger the expansion of the system, the more brush motors are needed. The V4E box can run up to 4 meters of system length. Now attach both drive motors to the E box. Push the button on the E box to turn it on. Twist and pull the safety button and subsequently Press the button on the left side of the remote control for 2 seconds. The machine is now ready to drive. Please make sure to change the driving direction accordingly. Please unplug the battery after using the machine. We will now assemble the brush modules. Please always turn off the robot properly before retrofitting the Sunbotex system. First, screw the stabilization rod onto the carrier arm and slide the brush onto the rod. Please make sure that the grub screws are opened.
Now, the brushes are to be fastened accordingly. This time the brush motor, not to be confused with the drive motor, will be attached to the carrier arm with three screws using a hex key. When designing the robot, we particularly made sure that the e-box and plugs have a heightened imperviousness, since the robot mostly, yet not exclusively, uses water to clean panels. Afterwards, attach the two suspension adapters. In this case, it is vital that you only fasten the quick release of the base pipe and not the two black pins. Make sure that the synthetic clips of the two splash guard sheets are positioned on the outside. Slide the splash guards onto the base pipe before mounting it onto the brush. Make sure to leave some space between the outer parts in order to be able to mount the guard precisely onto the brush and carrier arms. Push the bolts onto the carrier arm. Fasten the splash guards accordingly. Now, clip the nozzles into the sockets. Apply the splash guard foil to the brush motors just as you have done with the drive motors. Remember to remove them from the motors after usage. It is now time to bring the robot and the brush module together. Make sure to use the safety hook so that the brush remains in its position and the tracks can run freely. Here you can choose from three different heights for the brush touch. Fasten the lower quick release of the suspension adapters.
As long as the machine is not being used, put the brushes in service position by putting the locking pin into the lower hole. Slightly lift the brush until the pin locks the system entirely. Turn off the robot before connecting the brush motors to the e-box. You can now attach the water tubes. Adjust the water flow rate according to your preferences. Perform a final system check. Your Sunbotics system is now ready to use.